you know, of course, yesterday present with you was Mr. Kao Baraje. And when Mr. Kao Baraje was at the convention and when he was interviewed at the convention, he expressed that wild discontent within the NPDP still remains that he was satisfied with the process. Now, you're coming here this morning to essentially contradict uh, that statement. So I want to ask you if, if uh, one of your members, uh, a ranking member like him, thought that the process was satisfactory, why is it that that is a founding ground, uh, a foundational grounds for why the RAPC is pulling away? Well, uh, let me first say that uh, he has confirmed nationally that there was only a yes question. Yes, question. Yes. What the Actually, chairman the of the convention was asked, had asked. Do you agree? And everybody erupted in yes, nobody said no. That is in your own imagination that, er, that there was an eruption of affirmation. Obviously, from that the was not correct. Clips. The, why didn't he then ask whether there were any people who disagree with this affirmation? In some cases, I think he did. Let me also make a correction. There are two ways of authenticating and approving a candidature of a person in a convention or congress. One, you use the ballot box, yes and no. We agreed with him that because some people pulled out on the podium there and then, we couldn't have printed those ballot papers. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we resorted to a voice vote. But to my original question about uh, Mr. Barrage's uh, point of view... I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, yes, I will... I will answer that one. Sure. So, it means the process and the procedure was defective. Legally. That is one. Two, we are questioning that right from the beginning, there were no congresses. Incidentally, he's from Imo. He's from Imo that the executive that did not even participate in the, in, 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 the, in the Congress in the state has now been affirmed and accepted by the National Executive Committee. That is the executive of Mr. Rochas Okorocha. It never participated no, 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 that in is that the wrong Congress. information, please. Just listen to there me. There was nobody who didn't participate that was accredited as a... As a, as a we to, have whom, to which group was the party given me. now? Uh, uh, to uh, which group? Rochas Okorocha, a, 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 the governor of my state, is a, is a statutory member of the delegate, of, of, of the convention and was a delegate. I said his All group. people... I'm not talking of, of Rochas no group. as an individual. There is no group, please. Let's not go into uh, that. Yeah, yeah, only delegates. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, stick to, let's stick to the issues at hand. Issues at hand. Yes, Mr. Galadima, please conclude your thoughts. Kao Baraje, you said, you alleged, I didn't see him, it that was he wide, said... It was wide, his quotation was widely printed. You can look for it. It's there. Uh, fine, I have not seen it. Sure. But Kau Baraje, his name is Abubakar Kau Baraje. I am Abubakar Buba Galadima. We are two different people. Kau Baraje was or is the chairman of the new PDP. I, Abubakar Buba Galadima, is the chairman of the reformed APC. I could not stand for him. Mr. Galadima, let me ask you, uh, you know, there is this uh, speculation, particularly amongst those who are members of the uh, ruling APC, that indeed this last move is being termed as a desperation move. They say that the reason why there's a breakaway is because your group, uh, begin beginning with the NPDP, hoped that the ruling party would not be able to ha hold a successful national convention and that because of the tenure elongation issue, once that was reversed, the plans that were in place to essentially scuttle uh, the party failed, and that as a result, you have now taken this last-ditch effort to, to leave. What is your response to that idea? Uh, thank you very much. First, let me make a correction. We are not a, fac uh, 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 a faction. Or a block. We are not, we are not a breakaway. We are the mainstream original APC. Without an INEC registration, without any convention, no election, no constitution for the But there APC? was no convention. But do you have a constitution as a party? Of, we are members of the, we are, we are APC. 
Okay, be that as it may, if you can answer my question, sir. We are APC. We are not desperate. Our desperation, if there is any, is to enthrone good governance and constitutional democracy. If there is anything desperation, it is the desperation on the side of those who want to contest election without facing challenges. And they are desperate. In fact, they can do anything to make sure that they weed out all areas of dissent and all competitors that will challenge them in a free and fair primaries. Therefore, they are putting, they are, they are, they are congregating their, 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 their boys, mm. so, let me, so I, I should say, so that they are delivered on a platter of gold. What in is a that? democracy, in mm -hmm. any democracy without competition, is bound to fail. And I will tell you that. Mm. In 2019, PDP held stiff convention to elect a candidate. So also in 2003, 2007, 2011, and in 2015, when they had a sole presidential candidate, they lost the election. So also, when we brought in General Muhammad Buhari, no competition in 2000, no contest for uh, party candidature 2003, 2007, 2011. But you are national. In all you, cases, are, you are national. You I'm are, coming. So, so I'm, I'm, co I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Want I, to learn? I just have to ask you a question. I please. say, I, when, when I finish, you can go ask ahead, any go ahead, question. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. In 2011, he lost all the elections. Mm. And if the APC does conduct any primaries without competition, they are bound to lose. It does, is, this, is, is the RAPC going to end up with the opposition People's Democratic Party? We are APC now. So there's no, are, there's no there's, move to there's, join there's, the opposition? Pol politics is dynamic. Hmm. It's uh, dynamic. Finally, Mr. Azwat Alam, uh, some, we've heard from Senator Sheh Hussani, for example, who is uh, disenchanted with the party. He says that uh, uh, former chairman John Oyegun has essentially left behind legal and political landmines that will be exploding under the feet of comrade Adam Zoshomale and the NWC of the party. Do you, are you, is your party in a position to resolve all of the political and legal challenges ahead of the 2019 general elections? Um, thank you very much. Like I said, these are just assumptions of the doomsayers and the naysayers. You can look at the antecedent. If they come up to assume and anticipate that APC will explode, it is not new. They have always done that. Prior to the convention, they did. And at this point, the party has not exploded. And I can tell you, whatever legal issue is ongoing will be resolved and it will come out well. But let me say to I, I want to thank my elder statesman here, uh, Mr. Boba Galadima, who has shown that he's an intelligent person. I, he has shown and he has said it, and I think Nigerians had listened, that they are not faction because they can't be faction. Lastly, let me say, if you look at what happened in Ondo mm. State, Honorable, uh, I think his name is uh, Abegunde, from Ondo State House of Assembly, when he decamped from the Labour Party to the ACN, and he went to the Supreme Court to defend his defection so that he would return his seat, the Supreme Court ruled against him in 2015. I think uh, uh, Justice Musa Mohammed mm. ruled that you can't claim that there is a division in the party in your state, except there is a division from the national leadership of the party, and the end, which is the NWC of the party. So APC has no such division, and anybody who claims a faction is tantamount to thought. It's tortious and it's punishable by law. Mr. So I'm happy he's mm -hmm. that smart and intelligent to say they are not faction. Mr. And I just see them as a group. At, at this juncture, unfortunately, with all the issues that are there, we mm -hmm. have unfortunately run out of time. So we will just close this segment. Uh, gentlemen, I thank you so much for sharing your diverse thoughts and opinions on what's going on. I know that uh, the intrigues within the party and within the faction or bloc or whatever it will be called are, of course, going to continue. 
uh, standing by with me have been two gentlemen, Mr. Buba Galadima, a former National Secretary with the uh, former Congress for Progressive Change and the current Chairman of the Reformed All Progressives Congress, as well as Mr. Jasper Azwatalam, who is an Executive Director with the NSITF and a member of the ruling All Progressives Congress.